Obviously, coming off Saturday's uh, win at Minnesota, um, coming back and practicing last night, really. Uh, so went through the film uh, Saturday night and yesterday morning. Uh, proud of our guys. Won, won a heck of a game. I thought watching it live, it was a pretty entertaining game if you're a fan. A little more stressful on the coaches, but uh, um, a terrific game as you watch it the second time. Tough shots by both teams made, um, you know, play after play. Um, terrific environment, and obviously for us to get in there in, in that type of an environment with the team that's um, much improved this year in Minnesota, uh, to be able to do that in a hostile environment and find a way to, to come out on top was a good test for our guys. Obviously, the past week has tested us in multiple ways, and I think it's helped us grow and calloused us and toughened us a little bit, so prepare us for what's coming here as we uh, – have Penn State in here tomorrow night. You mentioned Minnesota being much improved. It seems like Penn State is as well. What have you seen from them that have made them make that jump? Well, the, um, two true freshmen in Stevens and Carr that are um, very good players, uh, having watched them in AAU, knew that they were going to immediately help them. And then the kid that's redshirted, Watkins, he's helped. So he's a um, younger player in the program too. And the other guys have gotten better. I think uh, overall talent level is up. Um, they got some guys, Shep Garner, that had some experience from the previous years. And, uh, you know, they're playing, I think, better together. They don't depend on, you know, in the past they've always depended on one guy to get 25, 30 points. And now it's, I think they got five guys almost averaging in double figures. So they've dispersed that pretty well and, and um, share the ball pretty well. Uh, obviously still continue to play hard as they always have. So just improved all the way around. Better players and, and, and playing well together. Greg, with the overtime game on Saturday and the, the relatively short turnaround, uh, how much you take that into account as you prepare for Penn State? Yeah, we've taken it very seriously into account. We we did practice last night, but the heavier minute guys, it was pretty light um, and not a lot of contact possessions. So we'll go back into it a little more today. But uh, more, more verbalization in terms of uh, us talking about Penn State, specifically for those guys that had heavy minutes. Um, and they understand it. That's the nice thing about having that experience. They they don't need as much maybe on the floor as what younger guys do. So it gave us a chance to not only give the younger guys some reps against the Penn State actions and that scout, but also then we took that group, that those 12 non-starters, and, and did a 10-minute scrimmage again last night. So it was uh, I think beneficial for both. It gave those heavy-minute guys a little rest, and, and it continues to give the others more experience.